Well, well. We are back. But not a daisy official, uh, you know, loot run slash walkthrough kind of thing. And today we've got a nice Solnichi spawn. And this is kind of a, a unique one. Because there aren't too many spawns quite like Solnichi. It's a small town, but there's actually quite a lot to loot. And uh, you can gain a lot if you get lucky. But you just need to know, to know where to look. Now, unfortunately, we've gotten ourselves a, uh, a rainy day spawn. <laughs> but uh, that's alright. That's part of the game, right? You gotta be able to protect yourself against the elements. It's a survival game, after all, so... I think this is a good opportunity to showcase to you the importance... Oh, and there's a guy. Showcase the importance of uh, warmth and better clothing. And just let him run along. Hey. Hey. The store's oh, locked. Oh, you know? Huh? You know, military base. I, I just got on here, man. What's up? Yeah, where are you from? The, the US. Oh, okay, okay. You have a knife? No, man. I, I literally just spawned in. Oh, okay. It's locked. I just used up my bandage there, so that's fun. Uh, that's how it is, huh? Oh, thank you. You open the door, you repunts. Alright. Good deal. There you go, there's a shotgun in there, so that's cool. Thanks, dude. But yeah, so our goal here is to try and get warm. Actually, warm right now, but you can see my clothes are getting they're soaked. So I'm gonna it's gonna weigh me down a little bit. And if it's a little bit, I think it's like noon time. Oh, hello. Geared. But uh, yeah, if you come, if you find the blue medical building, you can find the well pretty easily. It's right behind the hunting shop and across the street from the blue med. So easy money. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a, there's a medical spawn. Obviously, you can look in the car there, and the building, the, the houses surrounding the medical will also spawn. Uh, medical supplies as well. So if you don't find anything in the blue med building, search the houses just across the fence line, and you might get lucky. And then you also have this hunting shop too, which is pretty handy for you know potential rifle ammo or uh, you know maybe a rifle, a scope, something along those lines. Maybe some warmer clothing. That could be pretty big early game. It's gonna be tough to find too much here, but with everybody already looting up, that one dude looked pretty geared, so he might have a lot of stuff. There's a flag. There's dead. Dead dude. No. Take the backpack, what the fuck? Oh shit. 
Got a Nash. Oh my God. I think that guy just murdered somebody. I think he just murdered that person. Hello? Give me food, please. Uh, 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 uh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Help me, help me, help me. Yeah, thanks, bro. Gotcha. Holy shit. Oh my god. You can take some some of this stuff, man. Take that take that food. Oh. Yeah, yeah. nice. I'll take that bat, but you can take the rest of the stuff, man. I'm all good. I got you, brother. Best of luck. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, well. There's a little, little murder mystery solve in there, but uh, yeah, you can see we looted here. Let's go, I guess I, that guy had a lot of medical equipment, so I'm assuming he already looted the, uh, the medical. But yeah, that, that guy that I just killed looked like he, um, had already looted most of the town. He had lots of medical equipment, some chicken. Already cooked lots of, you know, bandages and stuff along that nature. We got some codeine pills as well. So, uh, yeah, but so far we got a baseball bat from that guy. He had multiple stab vests, and he left some, or whatever. Uh, we took a backpack, shot, got a shotgun, and IJ with some loose amounts of ammo. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. We just need some better clothing and maybe some... Something to look to use for food long term. Some warmer, warmer shoes. If it's going to be raining, we might as well try and dress a little warmer. Now, you probably noticed that there was a, a raincoat on the dead person. Before. But, uh, I, I'm sacrificing the... All that water and all this like the wet status or whatever on the clothing the coldness because the raincoat obviously will make not really get wet at all it's waterproof water resistant whatever but I'm, I'm it was bright orange right so I don't want to take that uh, but we can keep moving this isn't quite my style, but, you know, if you find a rain, raincoat like that and you're playing with some buddies, you can actually use a knife or some sort of, you know, melee tool to Yo. to cut up the, the raincoat. Yo, man. And make, make it into armbands to make sure you know who's on whose team. Yeah, he's following me. I don't like it. I don't like that he's following me. Um, but if you come back over towards this way, this direction, you'll see a lot of industrial. You'll see a train, like train station, train little warehouse, blue industrial thingy, and a big like factory-looking building. And then right across the street from it is a military spawn. It's a just one lone military civilian barrack, as people call it. But, you know, you can get some spare rounds, potentially get lucky with some ammo, or the zombie filled with peaches. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you can you never know. Camo net. Colt mag. Why not? But you can find uh, military spawn gear in here, so clothing, boots, uh, sometimes guns, ammo, camo netting, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, there's also a nice shed. These sheds are actually pretty good for finding ammo. Our battery is actually nice because, you know, we're on official. We don't want to use a glow stick. Having a source of light for night times that can feel pretty long 
having a source of light that you can turn on and off is uh, very valuable on these types of servers. So, get yourself a flashlight or a head torch. But yeah, we actually have a lot of what we need already. We have, you know, some early game food. We really just need a knife, and I'm going to search a little bit longer until I find one. Another dude there, let's just move on. We need some kind of blade so we can open up our, our can. And uh, also, you know, for some, some other more simple crafting recipes. Gonna search some of these little warehouses and stuff. We just need something, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of go over this every time I make one of these videos as the rain's kind of clearing up, which is nice. Uh, I try and get, you know, my basic survival things staple or yeah, stapled down, whatever you want to say. I nail it down, right? I get. Uh, a melee, we have a main weapon, we have something that actually shoots as well, which is nice. So we have multiple different types of weapons. And we have a primary, secondary, and a melee. That's what I look for every time I start off. Uh, we have, you know, some utility stuff like a light source, we have duct tape, We've got some bandages and coating. Uh, really all we're doing, all we're missing is a, more of a utility tool in terms of like a knife or a hatchet. If we had that, we'd be set and I could move inland. Uh, I'd be comfortable moving inland. The only thing we're really missing are some better clothing. We do have a ballistic vest, like, right off the rip, which is really, really nice. Really, really nice. Uh, something I something I mentioned, right? Like, because we're soaking, I think, I don't know what the exact value is, but I, uh, being wet can weigh you down a lot. And it can make you cold a lot of the times. We got, we're just kind of lucky that it's, you know, I think it's around noon, noon time. It's still morning on this server. So we're not quite cold. We're doing okay. But you will also see like, this is usually medium insulation. You can see it's low because it's wet. That's always just bad, bad, bad. This is usually uh, high insulation but because it's drenched, it's bad. With a lot of these clothing, items though, you can put them in your hands and if you hold left click or I guess right trigger on console uh, you will probably get, well not probably, you do get <laughs> a prompt to, to ring out and then it goes to dampen, look at that, we got back to high insulation. Uh, there's not much use in doing that with our t-shirt and stuff because it's bad insulation either way. Oh, those dudes are talking. There's a bunch of dudes over there. I don't really want to get involved. I kind of want to just do my thing right now. <laughs> Typically, you guys know me, if this was like a stream or something, we, we'd definitely be going and talking to them, but... But for now... We, ooh, we're just going to mind our business, try and get ourselves a knife. If not, we can just move on. Don't really have much else of a choice. Now, in terms of moving on, right? So Nietzsche, you might not know where it is, but it's oh, it's almost it's like the eastern side of the coast, kind of. It's uh, just west of Berezino, like southwest of Berezino, down the coastline. So if I were to go this way, that would take me towards Berezino. It's not too much of a hike, but maybe not something that I don't know. It's a bit far for somebody who doesn't have a lot of food. I have this can of peaches, but nothing to open it with. I can use the baseball bat if I get desperate, but I will lose a big chunk of that food, so I'm trying to hold out until I find something better. So yeah, if you just go this, if you follow the coast uh, road with the coat with the uh, the beach on your right, that will take you to Berezino. Uh, if you go the other way, you'll head towards Cami uh, and Electro. Those are pretty far away, and Berezino is much closer, or you can just head inland, right? Which is normally what I do with a Solnichi spawn. Uh, if you head, I'll show you. You go more towards the center of town, there's a main road that goes you know, towards the sun. In this case, you know, so headed, headed north. I'm not sure if it's, it's 
maybe a little north, northwest, I don't know. But it, it takes you inland, right? That's, that's what's important. We gotta be careful because we heard, you know, there's that group of people and a gunshot went off. Yeah, that's why I try not to get involved with that stuff if I'm planning to just play by myself and do my own thing. Like I am right now, trying to get you guys through a walkthrough. No, we're on official day Z, so you never know what's going to happen. People are uh, a bit crazy. If you need to find uh, your way, it should be fairly simple to find the road. If you're in the town, there's just a main like stone road that goes, goes away from the coast. And you just take that and that'll bring you inland. And eventually you'll get to a few villages and stuff along the way. I'll show you the first couple towns that you run into and show you the points of interest as well. And that should help you survive your, you know, your first hour or so with a Solnichi spawn. We spent a little more time here than I would maybe have liked to because of uh, all the player activity. But again, this is a official uh, server. I had to wait in a queue to get into this one. Which is, I feel like it's very uncommon with official servers but you know you get, by the industrial area you got that one lone civilian barrack if you can maybe get a an early game pistol or some ammo some kind of military gear got the hunting shop and you got a blue medical building so although this is a small town it's actually pretty decent in terms of a, a spawn area i feel like it's a lot more rare than a cherno or electro spawn and yeah, it feels small and you might think, oh, I'm not going to get much out of it. But there's some really uh, valuable points of interest in Solnichi. And you saw there's a bunch of other houses. I didn't really loot anything because I just didn't like being followed and wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. But we did very minimal looting. And we got ourselves a shotgun, a stab vest, a burlap courier bag, a pistol with ammo light source, some duct tape. We're carrying this so we can make it into rags if we need rope. And, you know, some other bits and bobs, so. We're doing okay for ourselves, for sure. And that was just a quick, you know, deal with the situations as they come, loot the houses as much as they feel comfortable, and get the hell out of there, because, as I say in every one of these videos that I make, with the walkthroughs and all that, the sooner you can get out of your spawn town, the better, and the higher your chances of survival are probably going to be. Because like, like you saw, there was just a group of three, maybe four fresh bonds all tangled together. And eventually something's going to let loose. And uh, yeah, I imagine somebody probably probably uh, did not escape with their life. We're going to take this for the insulation because it's dry. It's a little brightly colored, but you know, at least this has medium insulation. Whereas the raincoat, which I said I didn't want because it was brightly colored, uh, that has bad insulation. Oh, nice. A crowbar. We can use a crowbar to uh, open cans and cut rags up, so that's actually pretty useful. And it's a good melee, but the baseball bat's better, in my opinion. But yeah, so I start in Solnichi. I loot through there to the best of my ability. And then I will typically take this road inland, and there's a couple towns that have, I think... Yeah, see, there's still just more shots. The more you hang around, the more likely uh, it is that you're going to run into people that are going to want to take your loot. They want they want that jump start that you can provide them if you have a little bit of stuff. So I avoided contact with people and I got out of that spawn area. If that's what, if you want to get inland and you want to survive and get to the next tier uh, of items and, and loot that's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta get the bare essentials, you know, a little bit of food. We do have our utility tool now. Uh, some medical supplies and something to protect yourself with and you get the hell out of there, right? And that's what we did, and here we are. Just gonna keep heading inland. There's some industrial stuff along the way. There's also... I will take this because it's best insulation. Another raincoat. Just like some scattered houses, some industrial on the right hand side of the road. But eventually you'll get up to, the, the houses will become more and more abundant and then you kind of get into a little town, plenty of places to loot there, you can get some 
basic civilian gear, some warmer clothes, maybe a knife, maybe some cans of food. Oh, some 357, we'll take that. Always it's a backpack, not my not my style. Uh, and then there's also a town that has a hunting shop and a police station, and it's it's really useful. It's, I mean, I still consider it part of the spawn area, because it's really not far from Solnichi. So we'll get up to there. I always forget what the name of the town is off the top of my head, so once we get there I can name the town, and I'll, I'll probably put it in the, the title and description and stuff as well, so you know what you're getting into when you click on the video. Uh, so at this point, we're kind of far enough away from the bullshittery. I can start to kind of organize my stuff on the go. So what kind of stuff am I going to need? Let's say I'm in a situation I need to drop my backpack to give myself some extra stamina. I try to carry light to the point where I don't need to drop my backpack ever. But you never know, right? So I definitely want my pistol ready at hand. The can of food can stay. The flashlight... We, Probably a good idea to keep with me. The rangefinder can probably stay. The rags and the duct tape can definitely stay. These are all just decisions you have to make for yourself. Uh, don't really have a use for the chem light anymore. The coating can go. And the bandages can stay. Actually, the coating can stay. Why not? Because what if we get shot and we need it? So my food and... More of my utility stuff can go in there. I can't... Well, actually, I can fit the... Let's do that. The crowbar can go as well. So that way, if we drop my backpack, right? I still have exactly what I need. Right now, I have an IJ. Uh, lock pick in case I need to lock myself away. Some bandages, my shotgun. You know, so on and so forth. Always a good idea. To have your loot organized and know where it is at all times. Typically, I like to keep, you know, loot in the same spot as, you know, between life, between every life, right? So, I like to keep my medical supplies maybe in my my, my pants pocket, some utility items, uh, my pistol, I usually put in my pants as well, and then, you know, just some, you know, just, you kind of get a feel and a flow for what you want to keep where, so that way I'm not like... Oh, uh, uh, where's my bandages, right? I know, oh, they're typically in my pants pocket. I can just quickly go there. Or you can hop bar as well, but I don't find myself hot barring my, uh, my bandages too often. I don't know why. I know a lot of people might do that, but it just doesn't go with the flow of my game uh, for whatever reason. Right? Call, me, call me crazy, but that is what it is. So now you'll start to see there's the scattered, scattered, um, Houses and cabins, obviously just basic civilian loot, uh, or no loot at all in that case, but definitely worth a, a look, travel in, you know, there's, some, there's a tracksuit jacket. You're just gonna find, you're just gonna find better clothes, and you know what, I should be making rags with stuff as I go, because then we can use the rags to, uh, craft a rope, and then we can go fishing, and that just changes the game. We're just some few bones away from being able to go fishing, and don't have room, so I'll just throw them up there. It's all good. And we are still on the hunt for a knife, because I would much rather have a knife than have to carry around the crowbar, because it's four kilograms. Not ideal, obviously. And again, the knife is going to give us more food from... A can of peaches, so we definitely would like that. Uh, some warmer boots. We'll take that. I'm not really big on the boots anymore because I think they're a little too clunky and make too much noise, but yeah, I, I go back and forth. Depends on my my mood that day, how I feel like playing. And today, for the sake of, you know, we're talking about insulation, trying to stay warm, I don't think it's a bad idea to put some decent boots on every now and then. But you can definitely get away with just wearing sneakers or, or running shoes uh, if you have, have some warm clothing. 
So I guess for now, while our insulation values are kind of at a low in terms of my clothing, we will just hold on to some boots for now. It's not the worst thing in the world. Before you scream and alert your friends, let's take you out. That's kind of huge. That's definitely dropped a tactical shirt, huh? That's a military spawn. And the fact that we just found a tactical shirt in a civilian area like this tells me that there's a player or has been a player around. So we might need to be a little more cautious. Or else we might find ourselves getting shot early on. Now there's something up there too. What is that? Just chilling in them. I just grabbed my... T oh, it's a chicken. So we killed the chicken. And obviously... Oh boy. Baseball bat only takes a couple hits to take down a zombie. Wait, can you not skin and quarter with a crowbar? Oh shoot. That's unfortunate. But if we can find a knife, we will be set. And we can cut that chicken and we can craft some bone hooks out of the bones and we can go fishing. Which actually reminds me, I should have been... I, I'm just... I'm talking too much. I gotta make these rags. I think this will put us over the edge and we can make... Uh, Make a rope and then we, you know, I like to carry a rope because I can go fishing with it. I can make a backpack, which I already have, so we don't really need it for that. There's um lots of good things you can do with a rope, for sure. Like, uh, so the other day, I if you, if you missed my event on uh, March 26th, it was Protect the President. And in order to prepare for Protect the President, I made a bunch of shelters, like stick shelters, and stashed a bunch of loot uh, on the server we did it on so that all my you know all my teammates had had some stuff and we didn't have to they didn't have to worry about looting up beforehand I took care of all that but in order to make those those stashes and the shelters you need some rope and what I actually did was I just went from town to town and made a ton of rags and crafted a bunch of rope from that and you know it's easier than looting specifically for rope itself so I always try to promote it, <laughs> promote that style. Uh, I am going to swap over to the Converse because they're fucking stylish as hell and I like them. Uh, I think they're low, now they're bad insulation. But we have this better jacket now and a, a decent hat. We just need, a, we just need a, a pair of pants and we're actually pretty set in terms of our outfit. Got a couple cans of food, a chicken. We actually should craft this rope save some room and then we can use the rope to go fishing when when need be we're doing pretty well for ourselves here i will also stick that in our backpack it seems like it is turning nighttime too so i kind of want to get to a uh a safer location for nighttime <laughs> and maybe that's when we can do some fishing and uh cook up cook up this chicken if we can find something to cut it up with teddy bear you guys know i love my teddy bears my billy bears and i get a lot of questions asking why i carry a teddy bear and the, the answer is actually a lot simpler than you'd think um i usually put like a pistol or something in the teddy bear so he, here's the deal right a teddy bear if, if it wasn't glitching out <laughs> Um, there we go. It actually protects the items inside of it. So if I were to get shot in the pants, right, it would damage the teddy bear, but the items inside would be fine. The teddy bear gets damaged first before the items inside. So it's, it, it, you know, it's a nice, it's like carrying a protective case. Like everyone loves those because you can put stuff inside and things get protected. But the teddy bear serves the same purpose. It's just a lot smaller. Um, 
but I like to carry it because then a lot of the times if, if I get knocked down someone, you know, let's say someone shoots me and they knock me out and they're too dumb to double tap me, which you should always do when you shoot somebody in DayZ. But let's, let's just pretend that they're, you know, not that smart because they haven't watched any b guide videos. <laughs> um, and they're standing on top of me looting. Uh, odds are they're not going to look inside the teddy bear. They're going to look at it. Oh, look at, the, look at the food. I got to get the food. Oh, the 357. And then by the time I wake up, I can, I can like get on the ground. Like I'll be, you know, this is me knocked out. I'm like, oh, I just woke up. And he's still looting me. I just whip out the pistol because he didn't loot it. And bang, 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 bang. Whereas if I had it here, they probably see that and they take it or they strip it off my body so I can't use it when I wake up. Or so, you know, they're going to pick that up first if they see it. There's people who think, wait, when you kill somebody, you're looking for weapons and ammo and stuff. So you know, if you can, if you can hide that and make it harder for them to get to that part of your loot, then why not, right? Which is also a reason why I really like the, uh, the IJ because it's small and you can hide it in the teddy bear and stash a mag with it or some ammo. It's nice. I don't know what the zombie's doing. Yeah, we're just gonna keep moving. Uh, right up down this hill, down this hill, down this road, rather, is this last little point of interest that I'll show you before I let you go off into your own adventures. And I realized that uh, back there I, I did leave a BK, right? And I did just find some ammo, but just know I'm aware of that. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep carrying on and, you know, just know that I know that that BK is there and I could use it. But the point of this video is for me to just show you a loot route and the kind of things that I do when I get a certain spawn. Finding, find, going back for that BK isn't really the biggest deal in the world to me. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep moving on. But just know that with this spawn, I could have had a shotgun and a BK with a little bit of ammo. And then an IJ with a stab vest and some decent clothing. Got a little lucky with the clothing, with the shirt and the stab vest because we found a dead body and some dropped loot. Then we killed a dude because he was hurting our buddy who gave us the shotgun that we would have found anyway. But you know, that's that's DayZ at the same time, right? You're not going to spawn in and it's just you. You're going to have to get into those encounters and kind of handle every situation as I just did. And that's why I leave that kind of stuff in because that is that is the truth about the game. I'm not going to jump into an empty server or my own server and, and try and act like it's real gameplay because that wouldn't be authentic. Uh, so I, I try to leave in those interactions and the setbacks and stuff if, if they occur like if you watched my Cherno one my west side of Cherno spawn point uh, loot route walk through whatever you want to call it uh, I left in the point the, the part of me like trying to kill that guy because you know that's just how the game goes that's how a spawn might go so yeah I th is this called is this Delina maybe I think it's Delina So yeah, you spawn in Solnichi, you loot through there, and you come up to Dolina, I believe. I could be wrong, I'll correct it on screen if I'm a dumbass, which is possible. Uh, but yeah, you come up to Dolina, there's lots of houses here. They're kind of spread out. And stuff. But they're, eventually, if you come up the road, which... I will in just a second here. I will actually take, since we don't have... Oh, it's not gonna let me. I would take that road flare. Oh, there you go. I'll take the BK over the shotgun because we actually have ammo for it. So perfect. All the people that probably would have commented, Oh my gosh, you left. <laughs> you left a BK and you found ammo. You suck at this game. So noob. <laughs> oh man. You know it would happen. But uh, I would I would take that road flare. Oh, is it going to give me a prompt? I'll take it. Yeah, nice. Because I don't have a knife yet still. And I don't think I can use the crowbar. Let's see. I don't think I can use the crowbar to uh, 
Yeah, see, I can't get bark off of it, so I couldn't make a hand drill kit, so a road flare would be my only way to start a fire at this point. And it is damp, so again, another sign that a player has been around. Because those do not spawn in damp. So someone must have dropped that, must have been here through, through here before me. But I will carry on into town, I, I want to kind of finish this up as it's getting dark. I'll come up, there's houses, there's industrial, little industrial bits here. And you got your stilted tan house, you got your little yellow whatever house, you got a peach house, you got cabin house, all sorts of housing, you got a pub. There's actually a nice little stream that runs along the left side of this road. You can go and fish in there, maybe, if you wanted to. If you could find a nice spot with near to uh, with some cover. You just keep coming up. Uh, it's actually the next bit of town over. Look, there's an old base there. If you keep coming through... I forgot, there's another little road you have to run up to get to the to some of the better loot. Come up through here. We'll just sprint through for you for the sake of time. Now here's where the stuff gets a lot better. You can see the stream. I believe that yeah, you can you can fish in that for sure. There's some bushes and you know, some stuff you can hide in and go fishing. Or you can just follow the stream a little farther away from from the town and that might be a bit safer. Just kind of running through town with our flashlight on. I don't always advise this, but I'm doing it for the sake of, you know, your viewer, viewership. You know, I don't want it to be pitch black. It's not really pitch black yet, but I, I don't want it to be dark for you guys, right? So I keep the flashlight on. So here you got another hunting shop. You can find hunting clothes, rifles, scopes, ammo, binoculars. And travel equipment is- oh, look at that, a blaze, look at that! In this case, I might actually drop the bat and take the blaze, so we, you know, we still have something to shoot. Could use the crowbar as melee. That's pretty nice. So, GG. Make sure to always look in these shelves, too, there can always be- Sometimes be a scope or some ammo tucked in there that you can't see at every- every angle. Just be thorough, right? If you wrap around here, there's a bridge you can go across, there's some more houses over there. Uh, and then actually, if you come into the center here, look, you can see a nice little well. So two wells within the first couple kilometers of spawn, and a police station. So a Solnichi spawn is actually pretty good, that's locked, which is concerning. Alright, we're actually gonna avoid that. <clears throat> All right, so we're let's lock ourselves in a room here. See our pistol, nice. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna lock ourselves in here. Do a little flashlight drop. Is that the ambience? <laughs> but yeah, so you spawn in Solnichi. Uh, you have a civilian military barrack. You have a medical building. You have two. Uh, hunting shops and you have a PD and two wells you know just f just through your first you know 30 minutes to an hour depending on how fast you you loot and what kind of stuff you get into uh, it's actually a very underrated spawn point in my opinion um, I wouldn't you know if, if you're just starting out it's actually more of a low-key spawn point for the most part you know, it didn't seem like that from this video but a lot of the time so Nietzsche is actually pretty like low-key I would say it's got a you know it's not a very common spawn point it's not like Electro, Berezino, Cherno uh, it's much more uncommon and you know it's it's a pretty good starter place to spawn um, and yeah we can take a look at the, the loot you know the drip's not really there yet it's actually a pair of jeans away from being pretty dope but uh, you know there's a we got a chicken we can cut that up the only thing we're really missing is a knife we have couple cans of food we have our rope that we made some duct tape to fix up our clothes we got a nice backpack medical supplies a sweet billy bear with a pistol inside billy bear with a surprise we found a blaze in one of the hunting shops super nice and we got a bk with some ammo 
we're doing pretty good for ourselves. I would say for the first, you know, however long this video is, I'm gonna imagine like 45 minutes at this point. That's a pretty good 45 minute start, right? Some scattered ammo, you know, food, medical supplies. We got the essentials, got everything we need. Uh, and it's a good start. It's a good start. We're a knife away from being able to go fishing, start a fire without having to use our flare. And yeah, it's a really good start to Daisy. We got our essentials and we would be ready to go take on a gunfight, kind of. A lower tier gunfight, we can defend ourselves pretty well. But that's gonna be it for this time. If you guys like these spawn point loot routes and walkthroughs, make sure to drop a like and give me a give me a comment and tell me which spawn point you want I want to see next. But that's it for this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.